All right, this message will be for the sign of Aquarius or Aquarius cross watcher. So I heard uh, the most compatible. That's what I heard. The most. It's actually late. It's late. I don't know if that translated on the video, but that was, it sounded like, you hear that? You can hear it off in the distance. It's pretty loud on my end. Anyway, I don't know if somebody drives a motorcycle here, so I'm doing motorcycles. That's definitely not for everybody. But, um, yeah, there's, now, okay, look, I don't know the status relationship-wise right now for you watching this video. Some of you are with somebody, some of you are not. However, someone here is the most compatible with you than anyone you've ever met before. I'm going to say it like that. If you think it's the person you're with, for those of you who are with someone, then apply it there. But some of you could be with someone and you know that they're not the most compatible with you. It was someone else vice versa. This could be someone on the outside of you that's with somebody and yes, they have things that are compatible between them and their partner, but they think to you and they think, no, Aquarius is the most compatible, like through everything. It just fits. It just, you know, so, but for some, for others of you, you could be thinking that like whoever you're with is a mess. So just put it how it applies. And a lot of you, the majority of you are probably single. Um, yes, there is somebody here who is the most compatible for you or with you. Again, I'm not saying it's always been perfect if you've known them forever, if it's something new coming in. I'm not saying it's always going to be perfect, whatever perfect is. But uh, when I say it fits, I'm, honey, I'm talking it fits. Like, it's just like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle piece. Not a puzzle piece. It's like the whole puzzle. It's going to fit like that. And maybe there's times when, you know, some of the pieces you can't find them, but they're there. Some are on the floor, some got knocked off the table, some are hiding underneath the rest of the puzzle, but they're still there. Nothing's missing. It's just a matter of discovering it. That's how your love is or will be with one in particular individual. I think you already, for the majority of you, I think you know who this is. You're either currently dealing with them and you would know that in your heart. Like, yes, I am, I've never been more content with someone. Or it's someone from the past. I don't know if you were ever dating them or not. You may not have ever been intimate. Or it's someone new. But either way, it's like 100%. My mind and my heart always goes back to this person. I'm always thinking about this person. Or I'm only ever thinking about this person. It's always you. It's always you, it'll always be you, it's always been you. If it's new, same vibe, it'll be like this familiarity. You know, like, I feel like I've known you forever. And maybe you have, maybe some of you have known someone forever, you've known them a long time or a significant amount of time known of them. And every sign points to yes. I'm gonna write that, I like that better. Every sign points to yes it's just a matter of timing I think that's all it is getting on the same like I guess you could say getting on the same page or it's more like just t the time being right for both of you like one of you may not be necessarily ready yet or maybe one of you has children and the children aren't ready yet the children if they're young especially have requested you or the other one not be with anyone yet just take some time to kind of focus on you maybe they're too young to ask that and someone's using their better judgment like no I need to be single a while you know I need to I don't know I don't know how this is gonna go I mean I feel like yours there's so many ways this can go could like for who this is but you would know you would know if it fits. And I keep going back. Like right now, I'm going back to the people here who, who could be in a relationship. I don't care how new it is or how old it is. There is a group of you here, unless this is reversed, who is with somebody and knows deep down it's not the one. And we've had this, like, what, two weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago? 
we had we, we had it consecutively it was coming out a lot and it's back again so I feel like maybe the same group is watching me again or something but for those of you or if that resonates on your end and you know someone someone who's on your mind could be with somebody you know I don't know how they're making it look on the outside but they think about you a lot and they know that everything about the way that the two of you connected how well it just meshed it doesn't mean you didn't have moments but it's it's just right guys it's right when it's right the thing is somebody's like over there fighting it or something or you could be no, I don't want to get into that I don't I don't want to give into get into that especially right now I just I don't think I have the energy for it but also you know I'll cross that how about I cross that bridge when we get there how about if somebody wants to do something about their situation they can otherwise there's no point in me continuing to talk about it because it's just gonna fill you with false hope what's the point in knowing that somebody finds you to be the most compatible with them but they're gonna just stay with who they're with you know do I think this person would love to connect with you I'm not saying they want to have an affair but I mean if you'd let them they probably would I don't know I'm not saying they're a bad person either they're in love with you <laughs> but maybe they thought you weren't in love with them I don't know for some of you it's two singles here you're single and another person single but there could be this there, there's like a lot of questions there's too many questions in the air like I feel like too many questions not enough communication not any communication but again there could be reasons for that so you also don't want to get like jump to conclusions and get mad at someone or hopefully they don't jump jump to conclusions and get mad at you if it's reversed and wonder oh why is Aquarius, Aquarius must just not love me or care for me or maybe we're not as compatible as I thought and it's like that's not always the case you don't really know what someone has going on maybe you're busy maybe you're working on yourself you know what I mean you know some people I used to be this way and I look back on this me on this version of me that I went through because I've been through so many I feel like I'm often changing I'm often morphing which I guess is I mean that's what we came here to do I'm, I'm often transitioning in my life and uh, it can be frustrating but one thing I'm very thankful for and proud of this version of me for is when I look back on the older version of me a couple years ago and I'm like man like why did she always feel like she had to be in a relationship why did she always go from one to the next to the next why was she always seeking and searching instead of just being and you know letting be and realizing that the right one would appear you know or it wouldn't like not stressing it at all not making it her main focus and that's that's I say her as in me that's what I did constantly and always got it wrong <laughs> maybe even missed out on the right one you never know I guess you can't say missed out everything happened the way it was supposed to but you know I learned a lot yeah, there could even be someone here who wanted you or maybe this is you that wanted someone like it could have went further but they were with somebody at the time or somebody wanted you at the time maybe a while ago and you were with someone and so it never really could go anywhere because it's like well if we meet up or we really get alone or we start doing this you know this is gonna go and I know you're not a cheater and I'm not a cheater and I don't want to do that you don't want to do that so if you really want to see where this goes then I guess you'll become available and if not I'm not even gonna bring that up to you because it's not fair if you wanted to be you would be vice versa there's a lot there's a lot going on here um, somebody here could have definitely been in a relationship not long ago or in the past or was in between like kind of on the fence of you know what they really wanted do I wanna you know or do I want to just be single and, and maybe that's why something didn't come together or even come back together there could be even an ex not for all of you some of you are like hey, don't even bring this up don't even bring this up girl but I'm like I'm feeling it for some and I'll just make this part short because I know it's not the majority for some of you it could be someone you were with before and it's like you I mean I don't know maybe this person was going through a lot now, I'm not talking about the person that tried to smear you and ruin your entire life and whole reputation, okay? No. Nope. I'm talking about somebody who could have messed up. Maybe they had some addictions. Maybe they had a lot of childhood trauma that they needed to deal with. Maybe they didn't know who they were and they could have even been a liar. They could have been unfaithful. 
they could have been unfaithful now there's varying degrees of unfaithfulness you know maybe they were just I'm even here not right in the head like you know I've been there you know how many times I've not been right in the head a lot and a lot of what helped me to not be right in the head was substances and alcohol was my substance well alcohol and smoking but I think smoking can highly affect you in fact that's my opinion but it's like a drug really so is alcohol it is a drug but anyway so some of you that could have been the case you know it could have been where somebody um I'm not saying like you were perfect either but if you were with somebody in the past and that was the case for that small group of you that that's for that person could have since gotten their life together since the two of you haven't been together but then like maybe sometime I mean maybe y'all were still friends throughout the thing y'all weren't necessarily enemies it would be that person but yet maybe you got back with someone like an ex or maybe you got with someone and this person thought well I guess they're like I, they're not interested in me so I guess they're unforgiving of whatever I did or I don't know really they just don't love me anymore they're not interested so I'm just gonna back away something here needs another chance another shot or a shot to begin with it hasn't even had one yet you know it's like because it is the most compatible and you would know this you feel it you feel it if we're being honest with ourselves, you fucking feel it you know it you've been knowing it okay if that's not the case, this is another person. They've been knowing it. They know it. It's like, um, but the thing is, when? I think the question is when. And for those of you that there's somebody who's new and it's not come together yet at all, but like you know who this person is. Um, like y'all have never dated. Maybe not even met some of you. It's just going to be some time. I don't know how long, but there is just going to be time. They could be still getting themselves together. You could be getting yourself together, but it feels really compatible to me. Like your souls match. It works. It fits. I Again, compatible, 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 compatible. It reminds me of, why am I seeing Cinderella? Hmm. Cinderella, the slipper. You know, the story of this Cinderella finding the shoe that fits. The right fit. There's a lot of other people that tried to fit that shoe in Cinderella, but only one fit. And it was the most unlikely, you know, or, you know, maybe that's it too. It's, I don't know what makes it the most unlikely, but distance, age, race, sexual preference, sexual orientation, uh, it's like something here, oh, it's the most unlikely, but it's like, is it though? Is it? I don't think so. I'm telling you, like, there, you have true love. It's just, you're not with them right now. I hate saying that because some of you, or if you're married or you're in a relationship with somebody, like, if you feel that your person is your true love, then, then they're your true love. But some of you, I'm telling you, are with somebody and you know they're not your true love. I'm not saying you don't love them, you don't care about them deeply, that they're not, there's not beautiful things about them. Vice versa, if this isn't you, somebody else. But there's that one person on your mind heavily all the time. You always think about them. Songs, you just, you know, or they always think about you. Songs, food even. And it's like, it's that person. I'm telling you, it's that person. All right, but we're going to leave it here. You know, this is helpful to me. Yours feels really good. I mean... Here's the thing, you almost have to be excited that it hasn't come together yet because once things come together, sometimes they have a funny, not all the time, but sometimes they have a funny little way of losing their, um, you know, it's like what you work so hard to get something and then once you get it, you know what I mean? I don't think that would happen with you and this person because of where you are in your life now and who you guys both are now, but it's going to be damn good when you finally do get it you know like because you wanted it so bad you're gonna savor every bite I'm hearing bite somebody likes to bite here somebody likes to bite somebody's a little kinky somebody likes to bite and I'm oh my god I just got a vision I just got a vision honey I got a vision I gotta tell you my vision and then we'll go <laughs> 
I got a vision. Oh my god. Somebody likes to make out, but like laying down. That's the best. That's literally the best way to make out ever. I mean, you can make out standing up and stuff like that, but like making out in a bed. Oh my god. And laying down like, ooh. Somebody's like, when, when if I were to open my legs, it's over. Like, you know, make out that way where somebody's just, oh my god. <laughs> How do I say this and one, not turn myself on, but two, um, be appropriate for YT? Hmm. Well, I mean, when am I ever appropriate for <laughs> never? But okay, anyway, so you know, and then like somebody likes to get on top of uh, like a little more dominant here and like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then lay between somebody's and just kind of because I'm seeing somebody's one one I'm seeing two legs open and somebody laying between somebody and like coming down over them and like slowly like slow kissing and then like one leg kind of going up and somebody rubbing down it <laughs> stop it I'm going all right <laughs> love you guys talk to you later bye